Hi YouTube, the full setup here with another tech unboxing. Now today I've got the Blue Snowball microphone. Now this doesn't actually come with any free software so I suggest you watch the end of the video as well because I'm actually going to show you a demo of a free piece of software and how to hook it up and there's download links in the description so please take a look at that. Now I've been needing a mic upgrade for a while, I've been using a little Samsung Go mic, I do like it but I just wanted something a bit better so I went out and got this. Um, I know I'm a bit late on the um, unboxing side of it because it has been out a while. Um, I've got the silver version as you can see, it's also available in white and black and Amazon has a whole range of colours. Uh, one thing I've noticed straight away from looking at it is I think it looks a lot bigger than the photos. I know if you um, watch a YouTube review or Google Images you can see the size of it but I think from the way they kind of on selling websites it almost looks like the size of just a bit bigger than a golf ball as this is kind of a bit bigger than a cricket ball so hopefully it should have some really good sound. So I'll take you around the box, as you can see we've got the Snowball USB microphone on the front. We've got the blue microphone logo there, and then I'll take you to the side of the box, I'll just get you in and let that focus, um, and it just says it's compatible with Windows and Mac as well, so you could use GarageBand to record it, for Windows you will need software, it's plug and play so easy to set up, um, goes on about su um, superior sound, it's got dual condenser capsules offering CD quality, it's got an included cable, little stand. As you can see on the back here, but you can also get a shock mount for it as well, and you can mount it, you know, use it as a proper studio mic, not just desktop. Again, up here we've got the dual capsules, multiple mic patterns, USB cable, and rugged adjustable mic stand. And on the other side here, we just have the blue mic. So I'll get this open then. So there we go, that it got into the box. What have we got here? The box to one side. First, we have a quick user guide and this is going to show you how to connect it it's got all different types about the transducers, polar patterns, it's all a bit lost on me I just want it to record and um, make my videos a bit better I do a lot of reviews on speakers so I want it for that and then it's got about the positioning on the back the one, two and three which we'll show you it's got the um, cardioid capsule which is good for speech and vocal and podcasting which is what I'll be using it for you've got the minus 10 decibel as well which is very good for live music sound recording that's what I'll be using for a speak um, for my speaker reviews and the third um, pattern is omnidirectional capture which means it just records the front and the back like everything in the room very good if you've got lots of people talking it will get all that kind of capture all those sounds then it's just got some bits about setup, so I said it is plug and play. One thing I will recommend with USB mics and stuff is to adjust the level adjust the levels in your settings. I've always found like in the Samsung mics that I've used, I've always had the levels between 40 and 70. But you can check all that on your software. So here we go, let's look inside the box here. We have the included USB cable. It looks quite long, you might want a long one, nice and rugged though. Um, and if you've got a USB 3 port on your um, computer, plug it into that because that will make it a little, give you the maximum speed on USB 2. Here is the stand, which is finished in this nice silver. We've got the blue on it there, you can pop it right out here. Here's the feet, which are adjustable. Also, if you twist, twist here, you can, it gives you a little bit of extension. Get the microphone out last. Let's get that out of the box. Wow, look at look at this. And there is the blue snowball mic. As you can see, you've got their kind of retro logo on the front. You have a red light that turns on when it's on. Here you can see where it connects onto the tripod. You have your USB input. I'll get you in close. And here's the different um, pan um, options, like I said, one, two, and three. So you've got the cardioid, the cardioid minus 10, and then the omnidirectional, so it's taking sound from everywhere. And here you can see it's got blue microphones written on it and the snowball. I'll just put it on here. Let's just screw it on a bit. That's mostly on. Just take you up a bit. And here you can see as well, I'm sorry it's not going to quite get in shot, but you can see you can bend it as well, so you can kind of have it where you need it, adjust it, and there we go, it's lovely. So it's just a quick unboxing, and now here's just a demo of some software that you can use for it, which is free, and the download links are in the description. Thank you for watching.
In this video demo I'm just going to show you how to quickly add a USB mic to Reaper because I couldn't really find much on it. I did find a little link that helped me out so I thought I'd just make a video. Um, I'm not going to show you the full extensiveness of Reaper and everything it can do because it is quite. Um, it can get a bit technical if you want to do some advanced editing. Now it is free software, they say it's free for 60 days but if you just um, keep clicking still evaluate and you have it free forever. So first things first we need to add a USB microphone. So you need to go to options preferences and device you got all the different options loads of stuff that you can change but you need to go to device and then click the microphone that you need and here you can do lots of settings now if you wanted to monitor it with audio with headphones um, you might find that as you're talking it's coming back a little bit later and delayed um, and here is where you adjust the latency to just get that right and there's lots of other stuff you might want to have a read about that um, so I'll leave that bit for now but I just want to show you how to simply record so we've added the microphone and then all we need to go is track insert new track and here we can see a new tracks come in the bar and it's also down here now here's the option here you click that for monitoring headphones if you want to listen to it back if you're recording an instrument or if you just want to hear your voice back um, and check all your levels and stuff so there's that little uh, little button and feature so what we really need to do is the mics on this now is just click record and now here you can see as I'm talking the mics picking me up and then we just want to record that into the project so simply press the record button here and as you can see on the screen um, it's picking up my voice it's recording all the audio so it's working fine click on save all that will then save the file so there you go and down here you also have FX that you can add to it I suggest adding these FX afterwards and not while you're recording unless you've got some quite good hardware as Reaper does like to just eat all your system performance. So if, you, if you're not running anything too snappy just add the FX after but you can add lots of different editing. There's loads of stuff and you can actually download lots of plugins online as well so have a good look on the forums. So that's just the FX bit and then if you want to save the file you just simply go to render and then here's all your different options for how you want to save it, all the different things and then you just click render the file. So there we go, just a quick video showing you how to add a USB mic to Reaper.